Hello, everybody. I got... Maybe your comments can help out with this. My neighbor brought in his receiver. I've messed around with receivers, DVD players, and stuff like that and got them working. Um, this is the SR705 series um, receiver. Um, one of the problems I'm having... Let me see if I can... You know what? This thing is like... Five, Oh, it's 199 pages long, so, um, let's see if I can just find it. Okay, yeah, Q3772 down here is getting hot, like really, really hot. Almost borderline unsoldering itself on the board. I'm thinking about maybe ordering this and replacing it. I mean, as you can see, 2.2 volts goes in, 3.3. So this is only like 2.2 volts. It goes out, and it's powering the chip in different locations for different ports. Uh, CVDD. Uh, the main power rail is here, this big black one it looks like. VSS, 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 VSS. Now, as I as I can tell, Q3501 uh, here is powered on because it does get just slightly warm, and the RAM is it doesn't really get warm at all. But yeah, why is this getting hot? That's my question. I mean, is it supposed to be that hot? Because if, I mean, the other one, there's another port. Um, Q3773. For this DSP chip. It doesn't get hot. And this chip, just slightly warm like the other one. Um, as you leave it on this side of the. So, so you got two chips. You have 3501 and a 3601. Same chips as I can tell. So it's like one chip does maybe uh, one side of a circuit and then the other side of a circuit. But this one's not getting hot. But this one is. And I kind of unsolder this and then powered on the unit and nothing happened with the display just, oh, also this display is flickering on this unit just random jumbled bits of information so I'm thinking this little chip here is messing with this chip and this is outputting to the display because I mean it is so much stuff in here There's the HDMI receiver. That is probably fine because when you when you plug in something in the HD um, thing, it actually does switch and display it. There's just no sound, and the display, the front display, is flickering. Oh man, the BGA. There's a B, small BGA chip in here too, and I've I uh, heated it up and made sure it was seated. I didn't touch it. I just heated it up and let it reflow, I guess. It's a scaler. I don't think any of that's broken. Um, that actually could be the... No. See, video section. So, yeah. Video and amp switch. See? It's not turning the amps on the fans ain't coming on it's not getting hot or enough for the fans to come on which is it's just no power going to the amplifier board it's something here that needs to be confirmed or powered on and then it'll power on the amps it does however switch relays when you click over different modes the relays click but just no sound and the uh, display is just sporadic 
randomness. It's a power board. There's nothing, no problems there. I'm getting all the power from each rail that I'm supposed to. Um, not even sure. Where the heck are we? PC. PC board. I, I don't think there's any problems here either. There's just so much crap in this thing. I mean. Uh, that's how you pack it in the box. Holy crap. They included everything in this manual. Well. Shit. Hmm. Well, if anybody has any idea of what's going on with this receiver, just by looking at these schematics, you know a little bit m more than I do. Um, leave a comment in the section below. Also, um, after I end this video, I'm going to uh, attach like another little video, and I'll show you exactly what we were looking at. And This is schematic form, and then um, actually I might... Uh, I might actually put a link in the description so you can download the service manual and see for yourself. It is a PDF format, so you're going to need Adobe or something to open it. Um, so this little booger right here is getting hot, and there's probably other components getting hot that this affects. I haven't traced these backwards. I've only traced them so far that it goes into that DSP chip, and it has something to do it's getting power off the uh, ground rail here but I, I think that's all fine but something's definitely mess, messed up there so I'm gonna post a video attached to this video showing you in real life like what it looks like youtubers here it is in real life my uncle a receiver and the chip that we were looking at in the schematic is this one right? Damn. This cameraman sucks. There's right. There. No. There's Q37. I'm gonna get out of the light. So that one's getting hot as fire. Before I made this video, I just realized. And see, as you can see, there's another one. That we looked at on the schematic that's powering this DSP. This DSP is, I'm assuming, attached to this this one. I've unsoldered this and reflowed it um, just to see what would happen. And when I powered it on, um, I didn't get nothing, no display, nothing. It did still do the click click things and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> so before I made this video, I noticed. There's another little keypad right here. My camera will focus again. Focus, there you go. And that in the schematic is going to be Q1912. So that's a transistor. It gets hot as fire, too. So I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. I mean, I need to probably diagnose the display board, which is huge and hard to get to. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with here on the back. I mean, if you download the uh, service manual, and you'll be able to see board layouts and everything. It's in that service manual. But real quick, let me uh, plug it in. Hold on, I got wires going everywhere. One second. Okay, so I just ticked, made a ticky sound. Make a tick sound again. And I get the flickering. Come on. See that? There's definitely a data corruption or something, and it's probably on that pain in the ass board to get to, I'm sure. I did have it stop doing that one time. I just blew it out with air, but <clears throat> I think that was just a fluke. 
but yeah I'm not getting any power to this amplifier part of it so yep so if anybody has any ideas what's going on with this thing uh, let me know